This was a weird day. Our president this afternoon, I don't know if you saw this, but Donald Trump treated the media gathered in New York to a rambling, angry, jumbled, dishonest, and frequently incoherent hour and 20 minute long press conference. <laughs> it might still be going, I don't know. I don't even know where to start. The wheels are off the wagon. It's time to put Grandpa in an assisted living facility because <laughs> he cannot care for himself. What a performance this was. It was like the craziest voicemail from your mom ever. It was, <laughs> went on and on and all over the place. He hammered everybody, China, Canada, the media, Obama, George Washington <laughs> got it. It was bananas. You know they say Rod Rosenstein wanted to tape him to show everyone he's nuts? Not necessary, he did it himself. He's, <laughs> He got himself on tape being a... We have the evidence. Tom Arnold can call off the search. <laughs> it was some press conference. They could easily have sold this thing to Netflix as a comedy special. If you look at Mr. Pillsbury, the leading authority on China, he was on a good show, I won't mention the name of the show, recently, and he was saying that China has total respect for Donald Trump and for Donald Trump's very, very large a brain. <laughs> It's very, very large. It's because of the... This is not a good thing here. When your brain is swelling, it means you have CTE. It's common in the NFL. They got into the fact in the press conference that Trump always seems to side with the men who are accused of sexual misconduct and never seems to believe the women. And he even admitted that the reason he feels that way is because there have been so many accusations made against him. I've had a lot of false charges made against me. I'm a very famous person, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Very important. Donald Trump hates being famous. In fact, I don't know who it was that put his name in such giant letters on these buildings, but whoever did this owes him an apology bigly and immediately. <laughs> Trump also weighed in on the fact that everyone laughed at him at the UN General Assembly yesterday. That was a moment that obviously got under his orangey skin. They weren't laughing at me. They were laughing with me. We had fun. That was not laughing at me. So, the fake news said people laughed at President Trump. They didn't laugh at me. People had a good time with me. Yeah, no. <laughs> no they were laughing at you. They were definitely laughing at you. The press conference, this press conference was successful only in that he did not physically melt or explode during it. <laughs> The craziest part is he pro I bet he thinks he nailed it. Right now, I bet he, he's sitting in bed eating a celebratory box of the Colonel's Extra Crispy going <laughs> and wiping his hands on the sheets, you know? <laughs> and while our demented president was working himself into a lather in New York, there were new, new allegations against his nominee for the Supreme Court. Brett Kavanaugh, a.k.a. the 40-year-old virgin, is facing <laughs> another accusation from a woman who says she knew him when they were in high school. She alleges that he is, and his friends would target girls with alcohol and quaaludes in order to take advantage of them sexually. And just like that, we have a new spokesperson for Jell-O pudding. We lose a Cosby. <laughs> I mean, this is the third woman to accuse Kavanaugh of sexual misconduct. Her, her name is Julie Swetnick. She claims that back in 1982, she was drugged and gang raped at a party where Kavanaugh was present. Kavanaugh denies this, too. He says he doesn't know who she is, and he says it never happened. Unfortunately for him, Julie Swetnick is represented by Trump tormentor-in-chief Michael Avenatti, who represents Stormy Daniels, and that is interesting because now the president's apologists in the Senate, instead of addressing the allegations from the allegations themselves, they are attacking the woman's representative. For instance, Senator Bill Cassidy of Louisiana told Fox the source is being considered not the accuser per se, but Avenatti, Avenatti, lawyer to porn stars. Senator Lindsey Graham pulled the same deal. He said the lawyer to porn stars has just taken this debacle to an even lower level. The lawyer to porn stars. The part of the, his bio they're forgetting is he's the lawyer to porn stars our president had sex with. That's why we know <laughs> these are very specific porn stars. The lawyer. Meanwhile, Brett Kavanaugh seems to be backing off his claim on Fox News that he was a model student in his prepared testimony today. He wrote, in retrospect, I said and did things in high school that make me cringe now. Uh, in retrospect, you said things on Fox News three days ago that should make <laughs> you cringe now. But tomorrow is the hearing. At the hearing, Kavanaugh and his first accuser, Dr. Christine Blasey Ford, will testify before the Senate Judiciary Committee to make his case 
Kavanaugh released his social calendar from summer of 1982. This is a calendar he kept when he was a kid. USA Today got an exclusive look at the calendar, and it reveals a lot. Um, this is a real calendar. On June 16th, he went to see Grease 2. It's not a joke. In May, he was grounded uh, three Fridays in a row. And yet, the very next day after he was grounded, he went to the prom. What kind of parenting is that? And this one really caught my attention. On July 8th and August 16th, he had appointments with someone called Dr. Strawberry. <laughs> Who is Dr.? Sounds like a discount soda from the 99 cent store. <laughs> but when you Google Dr. Strawberry, which I did, this is what comes up. <laughs> Even Dr. Strawberry is a creep. He's definitely having sex with that strawberry, right? I mean, <laughs> I do have to say, though, these calendars make, uh, they do make a case for Judge Kavanaugh. I mean, look at this, the detail. There's Beach Week, first of all, and then library. Didn't have sex, didn't have sex, didn't have sex, finals, didn't have sex, still a virgin, no sex, all good, good boy. So I guess that, that clears him, right? You know, I will say, I also, I kept a social calendar when I was in high school, too. Mine was a little bit different. It was, uh, that's, it was a Kirk Cameron calendar. All I had scheduled was those two things. So even though a third accuser has now come forward, and there are reports of more accusations, too, potentially five accusers, Republicans in Congress are still planning to vote on his confirmation at 9.30 Friday morning. And because they don't want to be on camera bullying this woman themselves, they're planning to question her in a very sneaky way. You are, uh, all of you standing here today, all men, everyone on the Judiciary Committee, all men, you don't have women making decisions about Judge Kavanaugh. What message does that send mm -hmm. to the American people? We're looking for the truth here. We have hired um, a, a female assistant to go on staff and to ask these questions in a respectful and professional way. That son of a Mitch, he's a female assistant. <laughs> This assistant, by the way, is a Republican prosecutor from Arizona. She's a lawyer, not an assistant. And how cowardly is it to hide behind her instead of asking these questions yourselves? Here's all you need to know. All three accusers want the FBI to investigate their claims. Republicans and Brett Kavanaugh don't want the FBI to investigate. I wonder why that is. At this point, Donald Trump has to be like, I knew we should have gone with Judge Judy. Damn it, I told you. <laughs> but for now, for now, anyway, Trump is standing by his man. He said, Brett Kavanaugh is an absolute gem. It's weird that Donald Trump has shown more affection for Brett Kavanaugh this week than he has for Eric and Don Jr. and really all of their entire lives. <laughs> he even tweeted, he tweeted, the Democrats are playing a high-level con game in their vicious effort to destroy a fine person. It's called the politics of destruction. Behind the scene, the Dems are laughing. Pray for Brett Kavanaugh and his family. Do you really think, do you think, is there any chance that Donald Trump has actually prayed for Brett Kavanaugh <laughs> and his family? I mean, really, you think, I don't, maybe we should ask God if, if Donald <laughs> Trump is a, God? God? Did, oh, God, oh, God, let me get out of your way. Wow, it's God. Hey, I, Jimmy, Jimmy. I, Hi there. How you doing, man? I'm doing well. Is that you? Yeah, it ain't Oprah. <laughs> I didn't expect you to be so, um... Jewish? Yeah, yes. <laughs> no, no, so casual, you know? Oh, this? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jimmy, it's Casual Wednesday. Oh, yeah. OK. Yeah. yeah, I'm going over to the driving range to hit some balls with Arnold Palmer. My oh, that's nice. That's... Sucks. Oh, yeah. it does. All right. Yeah. Well, 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 what do you need? I, well, I do, what I, what's, hey, what's with that Band-Aid on your face? Oh, this thing? Uh, it's a little squamous. Oh. Yeah. yeah, I'm a lot closer to the sun than you are. Oh, OK. Yeah. <laughs> I should have thought of that when I started this whole mess. Yeah. Definitely. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that. I hope it works out OK. I did what I wanted to ask about is these prayers for Brett Kavanaugh. <laughs> is... <laughs> what, what's going on? Is there a problem? Ixnay on the air pray. Why? I got enough to deal with without all those Twitter idiots praying for some guy they never met. OK, well, I'm so, I didn't realize. I'm sorry. Jimmy, Jimmy do you have yeah. any idea how much I have on my plate? No, I can't. Oh, my no. me. <laughs> World hunger, war, climate change, uh -huh. kids asking me all the time, please help my Fortnite score. <laughs> 
<laughs> and now I got this orange imbecile, and he's tweeting, pray for Brett Kavanaugh. I got right. 50 million people talking to me at once. I don't have time for this. It's right, very stressful. Right, right, right. I'm sorry. I was just quoting the president. Don't, don't ever do that. Oh. <laughs> Every time you do that, an angel gets a hemorrhoid. Oh, well, that's, that's, I won't do it again. I, I promise. Look, right there. Right so, anyway, there. just back to my thing. Out of curiosity, has President Trump himself been praying for Brett Kavanaugh? Uh, all right, let, let, let me check. All right. Uh, let's see. He has prayed for his golf swing. Mm -hmm. He's prayed for his hands to grow. Okay. He's prayed for Hillary to wear a dress just once. Oh, really? <laughs> He's prayed for a second date with Kim Jong Un. Okay. He's prayed for that burning sensation to go away. <laughs> I got that. <laughs> he prayed that Don Jr. isn't his. <laughs> Ten times he prayed for the McRib to come back. Oh, wow, okay. He prayed for a spray tanner that tastes like honey mustard. All right. He prayed just last night to be a better person. Really? Uh, uh, no, nah, I'm kidding. Oh, kidding. Okay. <laughs> kidding. <laughs> and he prayed for Robert Mueller to get attacked by a shark. Uh huh. Yeah, that's what I got. No Brett Kavanaugh, though, huh? Uh, he prayed for. Brett Favre? Uh huh. <laughs> Brett Summers? Uh, really? <laughs> George Brett? <laughs> For Eric not to be his? Oh, well, really? <laughs> and Sir Brett Hot Dog. Okay. So that, that's, that's, that's it. A lot of Bretts. No, yeah. no Kavanaugh, though. Well, that is no, what I no, would have guessed, no, honestly. Yeah, oh, yeah. hey, God, while I have you here, have you been getting my prayers? Yeah, Jimmy, I, I heard them all, oh. uh, you know, for months now. So uh, I'm sorry, my friend. I can't get you on Queer Eye. It's... Yeah, and, and you're a little chubby to be an astronaut. I'm, All right. I, yeah, but yeah. Come on, I, I just, uh, stop, if I had stop, a chance, stop, stop, I know stop, I could stop, do stop, it. Stop, stop, You're embarrassing yourself. Please, stop. All right. Well, thank you, God. Yeah, thank well, you. anything for my second favorite Oscar host. <laughs> <laughs> Me bless you. Me bless you all. Uh, Me bless you all. Thank you, God. <laughs> God, everybody. See that? I mean, listen. Yeah, we got Avril Lavigne. We also had God, so that's big. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, well, you hurt my feelings. <laughs>